Future Proof is sponsored by Equipping Young Adults for Life, Inspiring Student Resilience, Championing Hope. Hello and welcome back from the break. Thank you for joining me, Sarah Hopwood, as uh, I finish now showing you uh, previous footage of me presenting, talking about um, different elements of emotional intelligence, signposting people to people who have inspired me, authors um, particularly, uh, and good resources too. And most of the authors um, can actually be found on YouTube as well. Howard Gardner, um, Sir Ken Robinson, um, there's loads of them, um, Seligman, there, there's loads, so do search them uh, if you'd like to find out more. So the ongoing programs, uh, programs are going to be a breakdown of what I'm going to talk about now. So I'm going to take each element and, uh, and, and for each program just break it down and give some clearer content and maybe better understanding. And remember for all teachers, whenever we talk about stuff and teach it, we're also teaching ourselves or reminding ourselves so learning happens um, 360 uh, which is absolutely yeah, fantastic so I'm looking forward to relearning some stuff and, and hearing back some stuff that I might have known some years ago and I'm just kind of reminding myself a great lady who has inspired me a lot by things that she has said is a lady called Joyce Meyer and these are some of the things um, that she says and these are the things I'm going to be covering moving forward and the biggest thing that she addresses here is um, a mindset that does not serve us and then she gives us a counter as to what a good mindset could be and it could just be a daily affirmation that when we get out of bed then we say today is going to be a good day or, or, or whatever the affirmation is so I'm going to just quickly run through them now and then as I say ongoing programs I'm going to be going into them in more detail and sharing some supporting content as well. So these are mindsets that don't serve us. Everybody else is better than I am. And she says here, jealousy is often referred to as the green monster and for a good reason. Focusing on others' strengths and everything um, they have will make you miserable. There is no one on this earth who can better be you. So set your mindset to be happy for other people. And she said a positive thought affirmation is I am unique and special. Next one, my future is determined by my past and my present. This is really not true at all. You're not determined at all by your um, present um, or your past. You know, your future is something that you can carve out and uh, make anew yourself. And uh, so she just says, you know, make a decision. Uh, and the decision, the affirmation is, I have a bright future ahead of me. Next one, it's not my fault. The blame game is an unwillingness to take responsibility for our actions and it goes all the way um, back to the beginning, if you like, of time. And she says a great positive thought is I always take responsibility for my actions. Next one is, it's just too hard. So she said, you will always have the gremlins in your mind telling you you can't do it or it's just too hard. And certainly in my experience, the people that I see do well and succeed has nothing to do with intelligence or ability or anything else. For me, what I see is people who just refuse to give up and let that inspire you. And the positive affirmation is, I can. I can. I really like that. So next one, my life is so miserable, I feel sorry for myself. And she can relate to this and she says, I'll admit, pity was the hardest thing for me to give up. She says, I used it for years to comfort myself when I was hurting. However, self-pity is a major trap and it's one of the hardest things. And if you like where the gremlins sit, they will sit and feed that self-pity as much as they can. And, um, and what I like here about her reference is often when we go into self-pity, it's actually a comfort zone if it's where we spend regular time. So it feels safe, even though it's bad for us. So um, never, um, 
Never ever react just by how you feel because if you keep reacting about how you feel, then sometimes you're actually in the wrong place. Um, and the reason why you feel safe and okay is purely because it's a bad habit that has formed. And the good affirmation is, my life is filled with good things. And to see the good, I think that's fantastic. Next one, I'm addicted to complaining. And this is my favourite quote of hers. She said, when we complain, we remain. I really, really like that. And, uh, and it's a reminder for me, if I'm ongoing complaining about something, then I'm remaining there. Why? Because I keep that dialogue going around reminding me of what I'm complaining about so therefore I am remaining so and she then says the positive affirmation is I'm determined to see the good in every situation next one somebody else do it for me it's easy to get excited at the beginning of something but it takes commitment to cross the finishing line don't be afraid of responsibility and hard work they are the very things that will help you reach your goal how inspiring is that and the positive affirmation is i love to work hard and to do my part and to see things through to the end and um, it's the work hard there you know so often we try and short circuit and get to the reward without putting in the work and um, many people will testify time and again that um, you have to put in hard work and if you do by any chance short circuit the danger is you don't feel worthy of it because your subconscious knows you didn't work for it and so if you don't feel worthy then you'll actually sabotage it in some way anyway because you don't feel you deserve it next one I don't deserve good things in my life and she was badly abused and so she refers to it here because of the abuse I suffered growing up I had a shame based nature I blamed myself for what had happened to me although there was nothing that I could have done to stop it um, and she said the positive affirmation there is you are never ever ever what you are called you are only what you answer to. So please be really careful what you answer to. You're never what you're called. You're only what you answer to. Second to last one, don't make me wait. I deserve everything immediately. That is, of course, wrong. Impatience is related to pride. The proud person believes that they should never be inconvenienced. The truth is you're going to spend a lot of time of your life waiting and being impatient will only make you and everyone else, she puts here, <laughs> love this um, miserable so why not learn to wait in a happy state of mind and the positive affirmation here and may I have it as well is I am peaceful and patient if only I really would love to be that okay and the last one is I'm going to do it my way or not at all that is a negative affirmation that does not serve us sometimes we like we think like a two-year-old I call it playground behavior um, but of course it doesn't serve us and um, uh, so the positive affirmation is I'm flexible and you know moving forward I'm filming here mid-June 2020 we need team spirit moving forward and if people hold this affirmation of um, we will only do it my way or not at all you won't actually gather people around you that you need to help you get what you want to get so to run through them I've actually written them up here and I'll be working from here um, again as we move forward is everyone else is better than me is not a good affirmation my future is determined by my past that is not good either it's not my fault it's too hard my life is so miserable I feel sorry for myself just stop saying these things to yourself I'm addicted to complaining and she says Joyce Meyer says if you complain you remain so basically stop complaining I want someone else to do it for me. And she talks then about hard work and getting on, pulling your sleeves up, if you like, putting your um, hands in and getting dirty, if that's the right word, mixed up in sorting out and working hard to what you want, towards what you want. Um, I don't deserve good things in life. Yes, you do. But it's up to you to go and get it. And also small steps, really small steps at a time if that's a journey you're just starting on. Don't make me wait. I deserve everything immediately. Um, that is not the case. And um, certainly through uh, 2020 and the COVID-19 experience, if people did think that, then they've certainly been drawn up short because um, being in lockdown, what have you, has held all of that back. So this is a great, great time to change that mindset and to say, I de if I deserve something, everything immediately, it means other people are going without. And so that is not a good affirmation. Um, and then if I'm going to do it, um, I'm going to do it my way or not at all. 
really negative affirmation again. Number one, it just keeps you in a state of discontent and um, and also you can move into jealousy and all the rest of it if you, we only think that it's my way or not at all. Um, it doesn't serve us at all, it keeps us restless and moves us a long way from um, peace and settlement. So acceptance is key, learn to love yourself, accept yourself and I'm going to be filming again moving forward on the next program starting to look at these one by one looking at problem solving school, uh, skills social skills life skills if you like that can really help move away from the negative mindsets into the positive mindsets which will build a strong future full of hope